Ka pori pori te tai ki te maui, ka hara tērā. Ka pori pori te tai ki te mātou, ka hara mō tērā. Um, from the flex, but the, we can't find the proper flex, uh, but we may do with the stuff from my school. <laughs> <laughs> Hence why there's roses there. <laughs> but she was just always nice and always smiling. Because we love you. And that, um, yeah, just words can't be too the final than that. I don't really know you, but I hear now with my um, two tablets, you got a five. Just come and just like support in the way we can. And to love one another. And that, yeah. I think in life you don't appreciate what you got until you ain't got it. Right? And that's everything. Just Oh, Cheryl. Taco to my la, taco to my la, taco to my la. Taco to my la, keep the four. Side when the boys do something wrong, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. and we love that side. <laughs> <laughs> but the boys didn't. Yeah, there's nothing bad anyone could say about Cheryl. She was always there for us. I started coaching um, under sevens. I took my boys to uh, Gala Day in Little Park. I haven't been back to Little Park in 10 years because that's where my dad died. Cheryl pushed me to go. She took us there, talking to where my dad died, and she done everything, sing, prayer. Because she's only known me for a year. She had a big heart, and she just looked after us like she was. And Marcus and Cheryl and my kids and my husband, they all went there, church together. And every time I met Cheryl at the Hillsong Church, every time she saw me, her face just lit up <laughs> and with excitement. And she always welcomed us with that big smile, which I will never forget. Yeah. Yeah. She's beautiful. Oh, 
She's hitting I'm going, Cheryl, sure, where are we going? And she says to me, Don't worry, just just we're just gonna I'm just gonna do something. And I was like, do what? She goes, just something, don't worry. Well we caught up to this funny. And I'm looking at this funny going, What the heck do you have to do here? <laughs> and she's saying to me, Hey, it's alright, come inside. And I was like, Mate, I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> and she's like, It's all good, just come inside. I came inside and the house was decorated the most elegant decorations I've ever seen. There were people everywhere. And I was wearing my Pikachu onesuit. <laughs> so she was like, I just want you to go and help set up some decorations on the So I truly looked like a Pokemon that night running around in a Pikachu outfit. Yeah. I was like, Cheryl, man. You put me in the most awkward situation. She goes, who cares? I said, me. You look lovely. I look like a pig. Hey, Noel. Kumi kumi ni. Koto te laa. Te afi afi nei. Ha ko manatu. Le le atu ako e kilu me. Ke lami. Maka ha Yesu. Ka uta te tonu hau. Um, I won't I won't speak too long because I I've already spoken, but um I'll share one story. It was about two or three AM in the morning. It's all these early morning ones. And I hear this tap 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 at the window. I don't know who it was at the time. I thought, oh man. If you come to rock my house, I'm going to tap, tap, tap. You are here, sure. No, but I am. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. It's Rosie. Yeah, three. Oh. <laughs> was up there for you. So, she comes to pick up Rose at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning to get off the Flemington markets. And by the time they, it's like flipping to Marcus opens, you know, at seven when the sun comes up as well. But that was Cheryl. 
very spontaneous, very random. random. The one thing I remember about her is she loved you regardless. She saw the best in everybody. She saw the best in me. <laughs> you know, some things happen and she just loved me for me. I'm just, um, yeah. I knew her love before I heard her love. And her expression in her face, the way she, she just smiled at people, the way she carried herself. So that I will always carry on. I'm very thankful to Marcus and the boys. You fellas know that we love you very much. And um, we just all finished. Just know we're just down the road. We need a milk. Just hold up, just not at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Wait till the sun comes up before you tap tap some form. Yeah. Anyway, love you guys very much. I don't love you. Oh, my. 
Sure, everyone, don't, bother, don't, don't mind me. I just like having a little walk around. Hi. Thank you. 
The show has allowed us to bring these two beliefs, an indigenous belief in association with the charismatic Pentecostal movement we call Hillsong, to celebrate her life. And I also thank you all for the opportunity that we've had to bring 
lots of different beliefs, lots of nationalities, and as we celebrate today's festival of colours, we remember the colourful life of my sister Sherry. As it is in the, the Church of Rautana, the Fetu Marama, and the many colours of the stars within the Fetu Marama and the moon, we are reminded of the teachings of God through nature. If some people have used some powerful metaphors, Lord, to explain you, Lord, that not any words cannot describe you, you must be described through your creation, which is nature, which is the heavens and the earth and the stars that abound. We thank you, Lord, for this deep thinking, this critical thinking that allows us to know who you truly are. We ask your blessing upon everyone that has given so generously. <coughs> Come on. 